goofy historians is the funnest place to learn about history? Or is it the funniest? And initially he wins, right? He gets Borgia back. And then Borgia, they make, he gets Borgia he says, uh, to celebrate his victory. And he, <laughs> and he brings Michelangelo around along with him, right? Just sort of plan military shit military action that's going on and of course michelangelo is going you know i'm not a military expert on, on the sculpture right but he goes along and then after they win he tells michelangelo to build him this giant bronze of himself of pope julius ii you know conquering borgia right with the sword again with the sword right and again michelangelo says well you know i'm not i am not i'm not I don't, I don't work in bronze. I work in, you know, marble, right? He says, ah, it's art. Art is art. Just do it. So he does. He makes a bronze. And it's this big bronze statue of <laughs> Julius outside Borgia, you know. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the, the Venetians and the Borgia come back. And they reconquer Borgia. And so the Pope and his cardinals have to, with Michelangelo, have to run away, right? They're running back to Rome, right? And the the uh, the Borgias, the Venetians, quickly melt down this bronze statue, turn it into a cannon, right? And they call it Julieta, after Julius, little Juliet, right? And then they they they're like throwing like these 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 bronze. <laughs> These, these bronze cannonballs after Pope Julius as he's running away. Goofy Historians is the funnest place to learn about history. Or is it the funniest? Does history repeat itself? Eh, not really. But sometimes it kind of rhymes. <laughs>